What's happening, guys? Keith here with your December 16th edition of the Impact Report. If you haven't checked out my review of this past week's episode of Impact, you can do so by clicking the link at the top of the screen. And speaking of this past week's episode of Impact, it drew 140,000 viewers and ranked 145 on Cable's Top 150. This is up 21% from last week's 116,000 viewers. The show also drew a .05 rating in the 18-49 to 49 demographic. These numbers are the highest the company has drawn since moving to that 10 p.m. time slot. This week's episode featured Rich Swan versus Dave Christ, Trevor Lee versus Trey Miguel, Jordan Grace versus Ruby Rays, Santana versus Phoenix, and the main event of Brian Cage versus Moose. This was a strong way for Impact to finish this year, both in show quality and viewership. The next two weeks will be recap episodes. So heading over to Impact's YouTube page to check out the top three viewed clips from this past week's episode. Number three, Jordan Grace vs. Ruby Rays. This had 38,000 views. Number two, Gail Kim revealed as a special referee for Homecoming. 64,000 views. And number one, a crazed Eddie Edwards attacks Moose. This had 79,000 views. And the lowest viewed clip was Trevor Lee vs. Trey Miguel with only 12,000 views. So I'm going to take a look at last week's episode of Explosion. This aired 12-8. Don't think it came on to the Global Wrestling Network. Actually, it's the 12 8 episode, but I don't think it came on till the 10th. Um, this was very similar to last week, but this week's episode had a six man tag that took place during the Mexico tapings. Last week was a six person tag with one woman on each team. Uh, this week featured Astrolux, Iron Kid, and Freelance versus Black Metal, Belial, and Impulso. Uh, this was another fun paced match, lasted about 10 minutes long. It did seem very apparent that Josh and Don weren't sure who was who in the match as they really never called any of the competitors by their name. Um, I might have even gotten a few wrong here. Uh, I tried to do my best and look up to see who was who, but the internet is not as easy to navigate with some of these things. Um, we had a really nice sequence between Iron Kid and Belial. Iron Kid went for a lion soul but ended up getting hit with a drop kick mid-rotation. A lot of high-flying spots from both teams. At one point, Freelance hits a moonsault to the outside. Had he gone a few inches farther, he would have ended up in the crowd. Um, but in the end, Astrolux picks up the victory after hitting a very nice Hurricane Rana on Black Metal and hooking the legs for the three count. Uh, the Around the Ring segment featured KM and Falaba. Uh, at first, Josh was talking about how many times KM has been on the show, and Fala is then insulted that KM has been on the show a bunch of times, and he's only been on once. Josh then asks Ba if he's learned to say anything besides Ba, and he says Google Translate. Uh, we find out that Ba is an Android guy. Josh was trying to figure out yes or no between Android and iPhone, and well, we got an answer. Uh, Josh asks KM if he's worried that one day Ba will leave him. KM says he's riding his coattails right now. Uh, Josh asks KM what he's getting Ba for Christmas. He says he'd like to get him tag team gold, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Josh then asks Ba if he would need a belt extender, which he replies with yes. Uh, KM then tells us that Ba gets the seatbelt extender on the plane all the time. Uh, Josh then asks if he sleeps on the plane's follow Ba, to which he says yes, and KM says he videotapes him sleeping all the time. He posts them on Twitter. Uh, KM then says that he falls asleep, or that Ba falls asleep in the aisle seat, and his leg takes up two-thirds of the aisle, and at this point, they can't get the cart through. They're both dying laughing at this. Uh, they both have a tough time flying because KM is so tall that his knees hit the seat in front of him. Uh, he tells a story about him flying into uh, Vegas, and the person in front of him decided to recline his seat during the flight, so KM was uh, very uncomfortable for that. Uh, Josh says that he wants to hang out with them, but KM says he's obviously just saying that on camera. And then Josh then hypes, saying, coming soon will be a Christmas book, maybe, to which KM says that they already signed the contract. Um, that was it for the segment, but uh, that book is actually available online through Barnes & Noble. It's actually been out for a few weeks now. It was available on Amazon, but sold out quickly. The book is called Santa Claus is Coming to Brawl, and he's bringing KM and Falaba. 
I was really hoping that they would have had KM and Falaba plugging the book on the last few episodes of Impact. We didn't see them on the last two episodes. Just figure it would have been a way for them to get them on the show and help sell the book. Granted, they didn't seem to need help as they sold out on Amazon very quickly. Um, the classic match on Explosion was from Final Resolution 2010 between Generation Me and the Motor City Machine Guns in a Full Metal Mayhem match. And then we got a recap of last week's episode, which uh, showcased the Ultimate X qualifying match between Jake Christ and Willie Mack. So that is really all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm not going to be covering the next two weeks of the recap episodes. I'm actually planning on having Ro from the Impact Lounge on the channel here. We're going to do a best of to our, our year in review from 2018 and what we hope to see from Impact in 2019. Um, maybe I'll still do the explosion reviews over the weekend to in the uh, viewership spot here. So that is all I have for you guys today. If there's more breaking news or anything to that nature, I will post a video on that. But otherwise, I should have a video up this week and next week. So thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.